In linguistics, lenition is a kind of sound change that alters consonants, making them more sonorous. The word lenition itself means softening or weakening. Lenition can happen both synchronically and diachronically. Lenition can involve such changes as making a consonant more sonorous, causing a consonant to lose its place of articulation, or even causing a consonant to disappear entirely. An example of synchronic lenition in English is found in flabbing in some dialects. The T of a word like wait becomes the more sonorous in the related form waiting. Some dialects of Spanish show debuccalization of per second toward the end of a syllable, so that a word like estamos we are is pronounced. An example of diachronic lenition can be found in the Romance languages, where the T of Latin patrime becomes in Italian padre and in Spanish padre, while in French pair and Portuguese by it has disappeared completely. Along with assimilation, lenition is one of the primary sources of phonological change of languages. In some languages, lenition has been grammaticalized into a consonant mutation which means it is no longer triggered by its phonological environment but is now governed by its syntactic morphological environment. For example, in Welsh, the word cath cut begins with the sound k, but after the definite article y, the k changes to the cut in Welsh is y ga. This was historically due to indivocalic lenition, but in the plural, lenition does not happen, so the cats is y not asterisk y gathod. The change of k to in y gath is thus caused by the syntax of the phrase, not by the phonological position of the consonant k. The opposite of lenition, fortition, of sound change that makes a consonant stronger, is less common. Types lenition involves changes in manner of articulation, sometimes accompanied by small changes in place of articulation. There are two main lenition pathways, opening and sonorization. In both cases, a stronger sound becomes a weaker one. Lenition can be seen as a movement on the sonority hierarchy from less sonorous to more sonorous, or on a strength hierarchy from stronger to weaker. In examples below, a greater than sign indicates that one sound changes to another. The notation and gt means that changes to the sound change of palatalization sometimes involves lenition. Lenition includes the loss of a feature, such as deglottalization, in which glottalization or objective articulation is lost, or in GT. The tables below show common sound changes involved in lenition. In some cases, lenition may skip one of the sound changes. The change voiceless stop and gt fricative is more common than the series of changes voiceless stop and gt affricate and gt fricative. Opening in the opening type of lenition, the articulation becomes more open with each step. Opening lenition involves several sound changes, shortening of double consonants, affrication of stops, spirantization of stops or affricates, debuccalization, and finally elision, or in gt, and gt, or in gt, and gt, and gt, and gt. Sonorization The sonorization type involves voicing. Sonorizing lenition involves several sound changes, voicing, approximation, and vocalization, and gt, and gt, and gt. Sonorizing lenition occurs especially often intervocalically. In this position, lenition can be seen as a type of assimilation of the consonant to the surrounding vowels, in which features of the consonant that are not present in the surrounding vowels are gradually eliminated. Note, some of the sounds generated by lenition are often subsequently normalized into related but cross-linguistically more common sounds. An example would be the changes and 
Such normalizations correspond to diagonal movements down and to the right in the above table. In other cases, sounds are lenited and normalized at the same time. Examples would be direct changes or vocalization. L vocalization is a subtype of the sonorization type of lenition. It has two possible results, a velar approximant a back vowel, or a palatal approximant a front vowel. In French, L vocalization of the sequence, L, resulted in the diphthong, O, which was monophthongized, yielding the monophthong, O, in modern French. Mixed sometimes a particular example of lenition mixes the opening and sonorization pathways. For example, may spirantize or open to, then voice a sonorized to. Lenition can be seen in Canadian and American English where and soften to it after a stressed vowel. For example, both rate and raid plus the suffix er pronounced, whereas in most British English dialects there is no such lenition. The Italian of Central Italy has a number of lenitions, the most widespread of which is the deafrication of t to between vowels. Postpausal sina, dina, but post vocalic lacina, the dina, the name Luciano, although structurally Luciano, is normally pronounced. In Tuscany, d likewise becomes between vowels, and in marked accents, the voice stops, ptk, in the same position become rest. Effects. Diachronic. Diachronic lenition is found, for example, in the change from Latin into Spanish, in which the intervocalic voiceless stops first changed into the voice counterparts, and later into the approximants of fricatives. Vita vida, lupa loba, ca e ca ciega. A similar development occurred in the Celtic languages, where non geminate intervocalic consonants were converted into their corresponding weaker counterparts through lenition, and voiceless stops became voiced. For example, Indo-European intervocalic T in asterisk T E U T E H people resulted in proto-Celtic asterisk to ta, primitive Irish asterisk to theta a, old Irish swath to a theta, and ultimately complete deletion in modern Scots Gaelic swath to you. An example of historical lenition in the Germanic languages is evidenced by Latin English cognates such as Peter, tenuous versus father, thin. The Latin words preserved the original stops, which became fricatives in Old Germanic by Grimm's Law. A few centuries later, the High German consonant shift led to a second series of lenitions in Old High German, chiefly of post-vocalic stops, as evidenced in the English-German cognates ripe water versus reef oasa, although actually a much more profound change encompassing syllable restructuring. Simplification of geminate consonants as in the passage from a Latin to Spanish such as cuppa and gt, cuppa, cup, is often viewed as a type of lenition, synchronic, allophonic, like other Western Romance languages. Many varieties of Sardinian offer an example of sandy where the rule of intervocalic lenition extends across word boundaries. Since it is a fully active synchronic rule, lenition is not normally indicated in the normal orthography. A series of synchronic lenitions involving opening or loss of occlusion rather than voicing is found for post-vocalic PTK in much of Tuscany. In central Italy, stereotypical Florentine, for example, has the K of casa as casa house in a post-pause realization in casa in house post-consonant, but la casa the house intervocalically. Word internally, the normal realization is also buco, buco, hole. Grammatical in the Celtic languages, the phenomenon of intervocalic lenition historically extended across word boundaries. This explains the rise of grammaticalized initial consonant mutations in modern Celtic languages through the loss of endings. A Scottish Gaelic example would be the lack of lenition in mfir, mfr, and lenition in ebn, evn.
The following examples show the development of a phrase consisting of a definite article plus a masculine noun compared with a feminine noun taking the ending a. The historic development of Lenition in these two cases can be reconstructed as follows Proto Celtic asterisk Indos Wiros IPA, Old Irish IND Fir Middle Irish in Fir Classical Gaelic and Fir Modern Gaelic and Fir Proto Celtic Inda Benner IPA, Old Irish IND Ben Middle Irish in Ben Classical Gaelic and Ben Modern Gaelic Abian. Synchronic Lenition in Scottish Gaelic affects almost all consonants. Changes such as n, 2, n, involve the loss of secondary articulation. In addition, r, r, involves the reduction of a trill to a tap. The spirantization of Gaelic nasal per meter to v is unusual among forms of Lenition, but is triggered by the same environment as more prototypical Lenition, blocked Lenition. Some languages which have Lenition have in addition complex rules affecting situations where Lenition might be expected to occur but does not, often those involving homorganic consonants. In Scottish Gaelic, for example, there are three homorganic groups, DNTLS, CG, BFMP, in a position where Lenition is expected due to the grammatical environment. Lenition tends to be blocked if there are two adjacent homorganic consonants across the word boundary. For example, a on one a on chas one leg versus a on te one house air and on the air a chas m h o r on the big leg versus air and te don on the brown house. In modern Scottish Gaelic, this rule is only productive in the case of dentals, but not the other two groups. For the vast majority of speakers, it also does not affect all environments anymore. For example, while aon still invokes the rules of blocked lenition, a noun followed by an adjective generally no longer does so, hence add hat add on a brown hat, kylage girl, kylage ghlic of smart girl. There is a significant number of frozen forms involving the other two groups and environments as well, especially in surnames and place names. Magumarade Montgomery versus McDonnell McDonald. Cambuel, Campbell versus Camshron, Cameron, S. G. and Dove, S. G. and Dove versus S. G. and Dove, a black knight. The rare, in some instances, the rules of blocked lenition can be invoked by lost historical consonants. For example, in the case of the past tense copulabu, which in common Celtic had a final t. In terms of blocked lenition, it continues to behave as a dental final particle invoking blocked lenition rules. Boudonia ad bad was the food, versus bu mhor imbued, great was the pity. Blocked lenition phenomena are also known to occur in Irish and Spanish. Orthography. In the modern Celtic languages, lenition of the fricating type is usually denoted by adding an H to the lenited letter. In Welsh, for example, C, P, and T change into C, H, P, H, T, H as a result of the C called aspirate mutation. An exception is Manx orthography, which tends to be more phonetic, although in some cases etymological principles are applied. In the Gaelic script, fricating lenition is in indicated by a dot above the affected consonant, while in the Roman script, the convention is to suffix the letter H to the consonant, to signify that it is lenited. Thus, a mat air is equivalent to a mahad air. In Middle Irish manuscripts, lenition of S and F was indicated by the dot above, while lenition of P, T, and C was indicated by the postposed H. Lenition of other letters was not indicated consistently in the orthography. Voicing lenition is represented by a simple letter switch in the Brythonic languages, for instance, Garek, stone, Y Garek, the stone. 
shown. In Welsh, in Irish orthography, it is shown by writing the weak consonant alongside the strong one. Pen, pen, ar beepen, our pen, cian, head, ar g cian, our head. Although nasalization as a feature also occurs in most Scottish Gaelic dialects, it is not shown in the orthography on the whole as it is synchronic, rather than the diachronic Irish type sonorization, for example te house and te the house. Consonant gradation. The phenomenon of consonant gradation in Samic and Finnic languages is also a form of lenition. An example with Geminate consonants comes from Finnish, where Geminates become simple consonants while retaining voicing a voicelessness. It is also possible for entire consonant clusters to undergo lenition, as in Votic, where voiceless clusters become voiced, e. G. Idga to cry Idgon. If a language has no obstruents other than voiceless stops, other sounds are encountered, as in Finnish, where the lenited grade is represented by chronemes, approximants, taps, or even trills. For example, Finnish used to have a complete set of spirantization reflexes for PTK, though these have been lost in favor of similar sounding phonemes. Impogen Malu Finnish th was changed into r, thus the dialect has a synchronic lenition of an alveolar stop into an alveolar trill t r. Furthermore, the same phoneme t undergoes a sibilation t per second before the vowel i e g root vete water versi in vir. Here vete is the stem versi is its nominative and vir is the same stem under consonant gradation. Fortition. Fortition is the opposite of lenition, a consonant mutation in which a consonant changes from one considered weak to one considered strong. Fortition is less frequent than lenition in the languages of the world, but word initial and word final fortition is fairly frequent. Italian, for example, presents numerous regular examples of word initial fortition both historically and synchronically. Catalan is among numerous Romance languages with diachronic word final devoicing, frigidus and gt, asterisk, frd, and gt. Fortition also occurs in Catalan for bd, in consonant clusters with a lateral consonant lat. Populus in gt, pobol or, word majorly l, is subject to fortition in numerous Romance languages, ranging from in many speech types on Italian soil to in some varieties of Spanish.